Good morning. My name is Dean Jones. I'm here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. It's a beautiful day and we have a beautiful product we're going to show you today. If you're on our YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification so you can get future content and uh, we'll just get right, up, right into it. So this is another product by 27 North. It's another great builder that's in our lineup. Um, this is called their Venture Van. It's a 170 wheelbase, new chassis. It's a window chassis from Mercedes. It's an all-wheel chassis, and it's also got the new twin-turbo four-cylinder, two-liter, 208-horsepower diesel motor. So we'll just kind of get started on it um, right, right off the bat. I'll point out it does have a nice backcountry bumper. We got the lights on to show you, nice big bright LEDs. There's also a light bar up there. It was covered, so I didn't want to get up there and take the cover off, but trust me, there's plenty of light on the front end of this rig. We have a 12,000 pound winch here, remote in the door. I'll show you under the hood real quick on this new chassis. Bring this up. We've got a little prop rod right there. Again, two liter, four cylinder. It's the new motor for the new, for the sprinter chassis. We do have like a winch wiper fluid here. A little jump terminal here if you ever need to jump it. Your uh, ground is right there. Brake fluid. We have some coolant here. And this is, I like to point this out, this is a diesel motor. It does have diesel emission fluid. This is where you're gonna fill that. Make our way around this way. It's a beautiful, these are rough country lighting, both the bar and all these corner lights all the way around. You'll notice this, this has got a, what's nice about this one is it's a 170 wheelbase. It's not a dual reel wheel. So it's got the single wheel on the back. It is lifted. It's got a 4.2, two inch lift. If you get in here, you'll see we've got box suspension. We also have this open. This front end's got, well, it's got a coil, I'll oh, just kind of, it's got a coil over shock right there. Nice wrapped up and that real hard to get off cover. And that Fox suspension there. We're on black Rhino upgraded wheels with Falcon Wild Peak all-terrain tires. Nice aggressive tread. Again, two inch lift. With that lift, they've supplied rugged step boards to get in and out of the rig real nice and easy. And while we're here, I'll point out a few things on the inside. This is the upgraded chassis, so you do have the three memory seats. This is how you adjust them, the bottom and the top. You do have lumbar. We do have some fuses for the chassis right there. This really nice diamond pattern, cat skin leather. Coming around here, you'll see nice, nice big mirrors. They do fold up, and it is it does have 360 camera around around this van. Around here, we do have the nice tinted. This is a full glass chassis, so lots of windows around here. This one does open. The, the, the shore power is a smart plug. I love the way that. 27 North uses this particular plug. It's got bigger contacts. It's not one of those little twist-in ones. Very nice cord. I'll show you the cord in the back. The, the, the head unit on the cord, it's, it's impossible to fray the way they mold them. It's a great short cord. And this is gonna be your fill. So you can put city water connection or you can fill your 30 gallon fresh tank, which I'll show you inside. Coming down here, you'll see there's a, this is your gray tank drain. It's, it's, it's an electric drain gate, gate valve. So I'll show you where, the, where you do that. You hook up your hose, or you could just go to like a, a sewer and underneath the sink, there's a little switch that opens that gate and that's the fresh, or the gray water, which is a 20 gallon gray water tank drain. Nice 27 North graphics, beautiful blue color. You'll notice there's uh, the more rough country lights on this side. 
And what that guy up there is, that's a Wii Boost. And what that does, kind of for the unit, it gets you a lot more cell service. So it just boosts your cellular signal while you're using it. But here we do have a Thetford cassette toilet. You see most of our competition use this system. It's a winner. You don't have to go to a dump station to dump your tank. So this is basically your black tank. It's five gallons, pops right in, pops right out. You can also lock this unit. Coming right here, you'll see another backwoods steel bumper, more LED lighting. You do have a trailer hitch right here with the set seven way right there. And then your bumper sensors, let you know if you're backing into anything. So this has been equipped with a lot of the owl features that we, we see our customers, they'll buy a Rebel, they'll put all this stuff on the, the back. This is a modular box system. You can actually put another box or two up here. They're just attached to the doors. They open with the doors. Put that on, they actually supply it with a nice little RV hose. This, this, this van's just got everything you're gonna need. Nice big full spare tire on the back. We do have a, a ladder to go up. You see your backup camera there. While I'm back here, I'll show you the back end of this inside. You have a little storage just behind the wet bath. This is unit 73, looks like. They do supply you with a couple goodies. This is um, a, it's an air compressor that hooks straight up to your battery. If you need to air down or air up your tires, depending on where your train is, or if you want to do an inflatable toy or, you know, a raft or what have you, you have that. This is the smart plug I was talking about for the short power. It's got this beefy, you just really can't fray that. You can't destroy that. It's got big contacts. It just pops in, it locks in. It's not gonna fall out. It's, a, it's one of the better short cords you're gonna use and that's just the way 27 North does stuff. They even supply a nice little home adapter for that plug. One thing to point out here, we do have a nice wet bath that I'll show you on the inside, but it has two self-cleaning doors. So as those go in and out, they're cleaning themselves, believe it or not. There's one on each side of that. another rough country light on the back when you're backing into stuff you can see where you're going backing into places we do have a wet sound speaker system outside another rough country light we do have a nice tiama 10 foot awning i have it in the position where you would stake it in the ground but it also has the ability to to pop in these sides right there if you'd rather do it that way Coming back here, I'll show you. This is a nice beefy leaf suspension, but you also have the Fox adjustable shocks in the rear. You can see that little blue knob. So if you're on, you wanna make it a little stiffer for highway driving, you can do so. If you wanna loosen it for off-grid, you can do as well. This particular chassis has the upgraded door. It's automatic. I will just start in the, the cab area and kind of show you some of the cool stuff this one has. We had a white one on last week and it had a nice chassis, but it wasn't as loaded as this particular van. This one's gonna be, have the 10 inch touch, touch screen. What's also nice about the Sprinters is you can actually talk to it. So you can say, hey Mercedes, where's the nearest gas station? So it's sort of a Siri or an Alexa of sorts. Makes it really easy, makes it really easy to get instructions as you're going. But we'll go back to home, so we don't need fuel right now. Uh, coming through the chassis, we do have all of our entertainment and phone on this side. Little mouse pad you can navigate that tenant screen with. You do have paddle shifters on this. This is going to be your your cruise control and your home and your mouse pad for your gauge cluster in here. 
We do have all of our, we have them on now, so we'll just go ahead and turn them off. That's all those big, nice lights that they have in the winch bumper, the top. We also have nice cup holders. This is a button for the door. Your HVAC. We do have some camera angles here too. So this is your 360 camera. It's got all these different views. Let's see what's going on back, back there. That's if you want to see what's going on as you go down the road. So we'll get to the good stuff. As you see, this seat does swivel. We do have a lagoon table for that seat. It goes up and down. And we'll get into the van part. So in the galley here, nice 900 watt graystone microwave. Nice power port. We do have seat, seat connection, standard USB, a couple of 110s. This nice, gets that nice and out of the way. Nice wood countertop, two burner induction gray stone. Here we have a nice industrial stainless sink with some goodies. You do have a draining rack here. You can use another draining rack here. You have all your stoppers in there. And your nice counter extender there. Nice residential bronze tone faucet. I do like their cabinet hardware. They have kind of a locking, me they do have a locking me mechanism on there. With beefy drawers on ball bearing slides, soft close, you lock them up, they're not gonna open going down the road. That's a big deep one there. Nice deep one there for your pots and pans if you need them. We have a nice isotherm drawer style refrigerator. Love that. There's a drawer there. There's your freezer. Over here, this is down underneath of the sink. I promised to tell you where that grave tank valve was, and it's right here. So when it's time to empty that, you just hit that. You'll see the water filtration system down there and just notice how nice the plumbing is done. The wiring and plumbing in this van are just second to none. Super, super clean. The craftsmanship down there, 27 North is really, really nice. We do have lagoon tables. They can make counter extenders. They can make TV trays for sitting here. They also help convert the bed. So we'll get that out of the way right now to show you what that looks like. You just kind of pop these off. Put them on these cleats. Real easy like. I have another one I put here for the demonstration, but it actually stores right behind the driver's seat. So we also have to pop these guys off. Let me... Go down too, that's fine. Making your bed in this venture van is just this simple. It's longer on that side for longer people. Shorter people would sleep over here. The width on this van, I believe is five, six. I'll look at my notes, but you do have plenty. I could fit on this one pretty good. I'm six one, so. You have a nice little 12 volt fan here to get you some cross breeze. This back here for now. I'm just gonna put these in here for now. Put these upside down. Actually. Put them over here because I want to show you the underneath of this guy. So underneath your bed, get this over here. Not that you're going to have to access this that often, but this is going to be your water. Your water tank, which is inside, so the heat on the inside is going to keep that from freezing. 
You have a Bosch two and a half gallon or a two and a half gallon on-demand water heater. And this all the plumbing is real nice and labeled. You do have some shutoffs. Just great plumbing, great, just great craftsmanship. You see the, the sound deadening on the wheel wells and the gas shocks that help you keep this open. Nice brown leather upholstery on those. Let me move these over here. Coming down the top here, we do have more storage. These are on gas shocks as well. Solid birch cabinets. See, just lots of storage up there. I really like the the cleanable surface on the wall here and the slat ceiling. As you look at the ceiling, you'll see a fantastic fan up here. Get rid of the hot air as you're trying to cool it. Nice LED lighting. Here's some of the wet sound speakers for the inside, and a 12 volt Dometic AC unit that's going to cool this off real nice in the summertime. Coming back here, a nice little pantry or linen closet, whatever you want to use it for. Let me move this out so you can get a look at the, the wet bath back here. I'll step back here. So it's Pretty standard size for a wet bath and a B-van. If that bird does go sideways when you use it and get out of the way when you're standing here taking a shower. Nice finishes in here. All real washable. And you also have this nice wand. Beecher has got a little antifreeze coming out of it, but we do winterize our units this time of year. Coming to this side, we do have a smart insignia little, little guy TV, 24 inch. I'll put that away in a minute, but it is on a, I can't articulate it if you want to move it this way or this way, whatever you want to do. Nice cubbies up here. I like this system in case you have bigger items that just aren't going to fit behind a door. You can kind of bulge these out and put some, you know, sleeping bags, backpacks, that kind of thing up there. One thing to notice, you do have screens on these windows that open, but you also have privacy shades here. They're nice pleated privacy shades. That's on all the windows throughout the coach. These are Velcroed on, so they won't ro roll around as you go through bumpy road. And we're gonna show you what's under here. So this one's equipped with three electronic 300 amp hour batteries. You can kind of see them right here, these little red guys. They're actually kind of big, but these are 900 amp hours of lithium, 3000 watt Victron energy inverter. We have a shutoff for that guy, a main battery fuse, but look at just the wiring, how clean that is. Great craftsmanship at 27 North, like I said. Back here we have our solar controller. We have 350 watts solar that can be expanded to 600 watts. That's what's controlling that guy. We have our, where's this one? Oh, there we go. Furion fuse box and breaker panel. Anyone that watches my channel knows I really like Furion products. They're made for our industry. Anything they make has been tested in weather and, and rough terrain. So 110 breakers here. So if we've got that one actually needed to be tripped. We have our 12 volt fuses there. And we do have four main breakers right here above that battery slot where you can see your batteries. Up here we have our control panel. This is our wet sounds head unit. It's got Sirius XM, also has Bluetooth capacity, but this is what's going to power your speakers inside and the speakers on the outside I showed you. Great looking fresh water and gray water gauges. They almost look like gas gauges. I love them. This is our awning that's out. We just retract it and extend it there. This is our Victron 
inverter panel. It's going to tell us what's going on with our electrical. It's nice about these lights too. We have, they dim. So you can get a look at those lights. We can get them real bright. We can dim them. And they just shut off. Really nice switches. We have a water pump. Spotlights on the sides here, the rough country lights powered right there. If you get a look down here, you'll see another shut off. This is your main coach shut off right there, along with some nice storage. Storage that's going to really serve you well as you're coming in and out of the coach, boots, that kind of thing. We also have a nice screen here that just pop this guy off. Couple quick connects. And that drops down. It's done that. It's got that Velcro on it. You zip this guy up. And it's got magnets in the middle so you can pop in and out of there without. If you want to keep the cross breeze coming, you don't want the mosquitoes getting in here, you just pop that on. And again, you don't have to wear your zippers out, you just pop in this little magnet area. We'll leave that there. So a couple things about the venture. We have the two and a half gallon Bosch water heater. We've got a 12,000 pound winch, 30 gallon fresh, 20 gallon gray. The length on this van is 25 feet tip to tip with the boxes and the winch on there. We have uh, the width is seven foot four inches with the mirrors folded in. Our height is nine foot 10 inches. The Wii Boost is a foot of that. So if you wanted to fold the WeBoost down, which you can do, that would get you in just right around 10 feet. We measured that the other day. The interior width is actually five foot, nine inches wide. Six foot, one inches right here where I'm at. I'm six one, so I'm right there at the limit. Or oh, six one here, I'm sorry, six two over here. So the lowest part of the ceiling right here is gonna be six one. We have a nine speed transmission, 24 gallons, 24 and a half gallon fuel tank. And that's about it. So if you have any questions about the 27 North, please uh, reach out. My name is Dean Jones. My number is 720-347-7063. Or you can always email me any questions at dean.jones at transwest.com. It's been a pleasure showing you the venture van today and we'll see you next Wednesday.